Yo, what's up, fellas? Right now it's Thursday night. I have about five more days left before I make the big raffle drawing. So I want to wish everybody luck out there. I've gotten a lot of messages up there for people thanking me and saying it's a good thing. And I want to let you guys all know, uh, it's thank you for sending the messages. You know, your boy Al's doing this because I want to. Um, there's no catches with it. I just want to say thank you to everybody, everybody out there who sent me messages and one dude who made a video. It was like mad cool. But I just want to make a quick video showing you what I had working on for this week. Um, as you guys all know, I started and finished the Norfolk Southern SD70M um, Phase 2 flat radiator version. It came out very nice, but as you all know, it wasn't a Union Pacific model, so it really wasn't for me to keep, you know. So I sold it on eBay. But with that being said, as you guys all know, that I was planning on doing a Union Pacific version for myself, in which I started on Saturday. And it's looking pretty good so far. I used it from DLH Locomotives. DLH Locomotives. So you guys could check them out. Um, this dude has the Phase 2 cabs. Also the flared radiators. Good dude, good prices. The flared radiators about 17 bucks, And the cabs like 23 bucks. So, cost a little bit. And you have to do uh, some work to modify them. And I, of course, well, let's check out what I, what I have going on here and how it looks, right? I think it's hot. As you can see, these are the differences between the two cabs. This, they're both Athens Genesis. This is the Phase 1 cab, and this is the Phase 2. I have a flat across the top and two little dips right here, and then it goes straight down. Also, as you can see, on the Phase 2 cab, it's all along the whole side. Is, it just goes straight up. Like in the SD60Ms, they were built sort of like this. They went straight up. On the Phase 1, it comes up, and then it goes inward. So that's the major difference, and of course, you know, the the full door, so that's the differences. This uh, cab right here, I had to, so far, you know, add all the grab irons to it, the sanding hatches, and then the headlight assembly thing right here. This is almost ready for paint. i got to do a couple more detailed things. As you know, I'm going to be detailing this locomotive up as, as well with the, uh, the correct plow. MU cables and the cut levers and all that good stuff that belongs on it and then it's also going to have uh, thread or tread walkways added to them and then they'll be painted up and here's the back to it and something I learned about these locomotives is that there were seven different variations of this model but as you guys some of you guys may know there was a two panel version and this is a four panel version one two three four but with the different versions they had, there was different variations. Like on this version right here, there's only 14 vertical lines down, so I'll have to uh, modify this. On all the versions of the Phase 2 uh, flared radiator engines, there's no uh, cab doors on the top here. So this thing right here is going to be uh, modified to be like a hemi shape, and then it will be just clear. And then, the, uh, of course, the horn will go on top of that. This model is almost ready for paint. I finished all this up today. So basically putting the fans in, putting those on. I wanted it to be see-through, like in the Genesis. So I had to drill holes in them, modify the edge right here for the lights. And that's it. So when it's all done, it's going to be a hot-ass model. And here's the one I just weathered on the 25th. This shit right here is nice, huh? You like that? <laughs> I love that one. That shit's tight. But anyway, that's what I've been working on for myself. So, I'm doing for myself, too. As you guys know, I will be doing some other stuff coming on in the future for everybody. Um, I want to wish everybody out there luck on the drawing. That will be on Monday. I will be on vacation from Wednesday, August 5th until the 9th. I will be going to Fostoria, Ohio to the Triple Diamond out there. It's hot as hell. I love that place. So you'll be seeing mad videos coming back from me of trains going by and stuff. There'll be mad rail fanning videos. And um, I'll also, I will also be in Horseshoe Curve in Pennsylvania and Altoona, Pennsylvania and then Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. All over Pennsylvania before I'm back on Sunday. So stand by for some videos coming up the following week. Um, there'll be a whole bunch of cool rail fanning videos. And, um, Good luck, everybody, again, and I'm out to go to bed, all right? Peace out, fellas.